Hi everyone, it's Renee Olivia, and in this video, I'm going to talk about how I lost my 40 some pounds um, after having my baby. Um, I know it's been a while. I haven't really been posting like on a regular basis, and I know that's terrible. Um, but I have been focused a lot on Instagram. So if you're not a, uh, a follower on Instagram, I would love it if you head over there and follow me because I do. I'm much more active on my Instagram, but I want to get back into YouTube um, because I feel like I do love YouTube and I miss it. So with that being said, in this video, we are going to talk about, again, like I said, how I lost the weight. But first, for all things beauty, skincare, and fashion, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell. That way you know every time I upload a video. Okay, so to get to the diet and this is just going to be me talking because it's it's really not like a specific diet that I follow I just kind of do what works for me so but before we get into that please I want to stress to you that I am NOT a dietitian I'm not a doctor I'm not a nutritionist I uh, would like you to talk to your doctor before doing anything just please 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 be very mindful of what is works for your body and what's um, healthy for you. So with that being said, um, I'm just going to go over what works for me. I've tried several different diets. I've tried the fad stuff. I've tried pretty much everything and, um, and it works in the beginning, but then I just kind of fall off of it because it's either too difficult or I just, it's, I don't know, it's just too hard. But for this particular thing, it just works for me. Um, but first, let's talk about this huge zit on my face. I'm just saying, it's just huge. At 48, I still get pimples, so. Um, okay, so back to the diet. Um, I'm just gonna go over exactly what I do, um, and at the end, I'll give you some little tips and tricks that I kind of follow that help me. Um, so I do, a couple of things. I do intermittent fasting and I'm not, uh, intermittent fasting, I want you to, to really research. I don't follow it strictly. I stop eating at nine and then I start um, my first meal at 12 p.m. the next day. Now, here's where I differ from what people say about intermittent fasting. I, you can have coffee um, in the, I'll have two cups of coffee in the morning. Now you're supposed to have black coffee. I can't drink black coffee. I just can't. I need my creamer. I love it. Um, French vanilla or hazelnut or my Irish cream. I just love it. So I'll have two cups of coffee in the morning, uh, one at 8.30 and one at 10.30 or 10 a.m. And I'll put my creamer in, like just a couple teaspoons or tablespoons. Um, then at noon, I will have two hard boiled eggs and in uh, a whole wheat English muffin. And then around three o'clock, I will have like a snack, like I'll have a piece of fruit or I'll have a yogurt, something like that. Um, and then at 6 p.m., I'll have my dinner. And a lot of times, you know, and I'll give you some options as well. Um, on different foods that you can eat and I even did the calorie counting for you which it makes it super easy um, and then at nine or right before nine o'clock um, I'll have like a snack uh, maybe a string cheese something like that um, maybe a few crackers um, the Brookside chocolates I'll have um, but I stop after 9 p.m. then I stop no more eating and then it starts all over the next day now the thing where I was, because I was basically losing a one and a half to two pounds per week. Now, in addition to the intermittent fasting, I try to keep my calorie intake between about 1200 calories for the day. And like I said before about, I'm not a doctor and make sure you're doing what's something that's healthy for you um, and talk to your doctor. I also want to stress to you that this is only temporary. It's not a permanent thing that you should be doing every single day for the rest of your life. This is just a, a temporary thing that once I get to my goal weight, then I stop it and I go back and I 
don't do the intermittent fasting. I don't do the 1200 calories a day. I just go back to, you know, eating healthy, but I'm not like calorie counting or anything like that. You still have to be careful and you have to be mindful and you have to be um, very um, portioned controlled. Um, you don't want to go crazy, but, and then if I find like, um, I have gained a few pounds, then I'll start back up and I'll do it again for a few weeks and then that kind of thing. Um, when I go on vacation, I am completely, I don't follow this because I want to enjoy myself. You should enjoy your life and all of that. So that is what I do. Um, I will also link um, my guide down below. That way you can find out exactly, like it really does go step by step on what I do. It gives you um, options, like food options. I calorie count those options for you so you don't have to do it. Um, but I just, I'm like a routine person. Like I can eat the same things over and over again, but most people like variety. So I give you lots of different varieties that you can choose from. Um, but yeah, so I have my whole guide and, um, on Instagram, it's in my bio, you can link it there and, and, and download it there. Um, what else did I want to tell you? Oh, I want to talk about like the little tips and tricks. Um, so if you're feeling hungry, I always like, I'll either chew a piece of gum or I'll put like a mint in, or I'll brush my teeth. Now, these things are really important because if you have like a menthol -y taste in your mouth, you're not gonna wanna eat. Like for me, it just suppresses my appetite. So um, I think that's important. Um, okay, so some other tips and tricks. Um, drink lots of water. Maybe drink a, a whole glass of water before you even have your meal or your snack. That helps. Keep busy. Uh, put a cough drop in your mouth. Just like I said before, that menthol taste it totally suppresses my appetite and I have no interest in eating after that. Um, use smaller plates instead of big plates. Um, I think that helps with portion uh, control. Um, and this is like kind of interesting. Like if you really want to motivate yourself, pick a picture that you were your in, when you were in your best shape. Um, for me, it was when I was 40 years old. When I was turning 40, I was like in like the best shape I had like a six pack so I would put a picture of me at that time and put that on the refrigerator or put it somewhere where you're gonna see it all the time don't use a model's picture because um the model is not you you can't like realistically look like that model you want to look realistic and you think realistically so um yeah so if you want to motivate yourself that's how I do it um uh so those are just like some tips and tricks. I'm looking at my guide. This is the whole thing. Um, like I said, I will link the download down below. And, um, you know, I'm just super happy. I, I lost over 40 pounds and I'm not even including the baby weight that I lost when I was breastfeeding. I didn't even count that. Um, so this is really just me um, being focused and motivated. And I'm very happy. I'm at my happy, healthy um, weight right now um, and I'm gonna stick to it I'm not gonna go crazy and lose any more weight because there's no need for that so anyway I hope you enjoyed the video if you did give it a thumbs up comment down below and uh, share it with your friends and I would love to hear your input and if you're um, if it's working for you tag me in Instagram you know like I want to hear your success story so definitely include me. I would love to hear from you guys. So everyone uh, have a great day and I hope you enjoy the video. Bye.